Oh, you what? Oh, you what? That's scholarship, scholarship. <laughs> My name's uh, uh, Marion Reginald Terry. Everybody knows me as Ice, Coach Ice, uh, uh, Mr. Terry. And you know, I always look at the glass as half full versus half empty. Too often we start looking at uh, what we want versus what we need. And God's given me and my family all of what we needed. And uh, uh, I, just, I just want this, this whole story to be about what everybody can do, a little something in the community. And then we won't have to complain so much. Yeah, sure, it's going to take uh, a grind to, to turn things around with some of our youth. But a lot of it is just T-I-M-E. Coach Ice is a fun, goofy person. He's very loving, kind, and encouraging. He motivates me. I run track, so he helps me with that, push me. I'm also uh, kind of try to stand in the gap for kids uh, as a mentor. See a need, just try to plug in where I can. Uh, there was a time my sophomore year when I got in a lot of trouble, and Coach Ice was always there for me throughout the entire process. I currently, for the last eight or nine years, I've been doing Meals on Wheels here in North Tulsa out of St. Augustine uh, Advisory Board at Hutchison YMCA from a big brother out of big brothers and sisters. The library, the 40-year reunion committee, and as I'm an elder in my church and, and a small church, so you can imagine you wear many hats in a small church, but just trying to stay focused and, and serve. He's a godly man. He's, he's kind, you know, if anybody needs help doing anything, he's, he's always there helping hand to help with anything. A lot of these kids are missing father figures in the home, as well as are missing positive influences in the home, and he brings that back. I'm just a small clog, and I just try to do what I can do. It's not always personal. It's just we see the vision down before them, and as well as what society has. And if I could instill on them to just be more patient and to be more appreciative as well as respectful of some of the things that some of the adults are trying to pass on to them. So it's kind of like a father to some people that, you know, just got mothers in their house. Coach Ice, he just help you with everything, anything you need. He has, he'll still give it to you because he's generous, um, funny person, always, um, always motivational. And not just uh, kids, but adults uh, in the mindset that they have of complaining about everybody else that's maybe possibly doing whether it's the government or whether it's the new media. Yeah, what can, can you do with every morning when you wake How up? These people can you do better today than you did yesterday? You know, what is it you can improve on? Because eventually you're going to meet that maker. And I tell a lot of people all the time, I don't want it to be hot back there where it's going to be for so many folks. <laughs> he ain't the type of person come come teach us new plays and talk about us about our opponent defense and stuff. He the type of person come help you about life things and, you know, like help you through life and uh, help you through any problems you got or whatever. And start passing stuff down to these kids, whether Let's it be go. about different. Let's go. Hey, hold on to the ball. Do what you do. Hit the hole. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey! 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 I say happy birthday. Thank you for all you do for the football team and the community of Booker T. Washington. All the volunteering you do, all the cooking you do, and we really appreciate you. We didn't know you'd make it 60 years. There you go. Almost. Oh, you know I'm going to get some. <laughs>